recording. Okay, so this is Honors Chapter 2, Test Tense 21 through 40. Okay, starting at number 21. How to calculate volume when given the specific density and mass of a substance. Now, if you look back in a, uh, to test hint 18, there's a question about the equation for density, and uh, then there's three density problems in a row. Basically, you need to find mass in one, density in another, volume in another. Okay? And what is the equation for density that you need to know? What does over mean mathematically? Mass divided by volume, because it's the amount of matter in that particular amount of space. Okay? If, in number 21, I tell you that the density is, say, let's do aluminum, because that's the only one I have in my head right now. Density of aluminum is 2.70 grams per centimeter cubed, and I am going to give you a mass, and let's say the mass is uh, 10.0 grams. What are you going to do to find the volume? Hopefully more than just sit there silently. <laughs> Multiply density times mass? Yes. Well, let's see. If I took a density of grams per centimeter cubed times a mass in grams, what's that going to give me? Gram squared per centimeter cubed. Is that a unit for volume? No. So if we don't remember the equation, take a look at what the units are going to do. Michael? 10 grams over x centimeter Oh, we could do it that way. 10 grams over x centimeters cubed equals 2.70 grams over 1 centimeter cubed. Yes? You can solve it by proportion, yeah. Can you just plug it into the equation? We could. And what do we get? What will, we be, no, what will we be doing? Well, here you'd be doing cross multiplication, right? 10 times 1 equals 2.7x. So we're going to be ending up dividing 10 by 2.7. Equation wise, what is that? This way is fine to do that, by the way. So 10 divided by 2.7 means that the equation for volume is what? Steven? Mass over density. Mass divided by density. Okay. But if you're not sure, see what it will cancel out with the units. Okay. 22. How to convert a volume measurement to a different SI unit. So, say you have. Say you have 15.0 liters of water. How many centimeters cubed is that? What? 15,000. How do we know? What conversion factor might we use since we need to practice those anyway? How do we, get, how do we cancel out liters? And what do we want to turn it into? Milliliters. Awesome. And how many watts in a watt? A thousand milliliters in one liter. Okay, so it is 15 times a thousand, but milliliters is not centimeters cubed. How do we turn milliliters into centimeters cubed? What did I just say wrong? Milliliters are centimeters cubed, yeah. That conversion factor is 1 to 1. So it is mathematically just 15 times 1,000 um, to convert to centimeters cubed. Now, in this particular problem, because it's multiple choice, you won't have to show the conversion factors, but I think it helps to practice that. It will definitely help you when you get to the honors page, and you have to show your work on that. All right, 23, how to convert Celsius to Kelvin. Kelvin is 
the standard SI unit of temperature. Okay, so Kelvin is important, and Kelvin will be very important when we're doing gas laws. How are degrees Celsius related to degrees Kelvin? Steven? They are. They're the same size degree, but they start at a different spot. Zero degrees Celsius is how many Kelvin? Yes, 273.15 if you want to be picky about it. Good job. Because zero on the Kelvin scale is actually what? Well, zero on the Celsius scale is the freezing point of water. Zero on the Kelvin scale is absolute zero. Okay, supposedly where all molecular motion stops. So, um, negative 273 Celsius, negative 273.15 degrees Celsius is zero Kelvin. Not okay, zero Kelvin. Twenty-four. Oh, how to convert English to metric length measurements. Way, way back at the beginning of this chapter, uh, you got on a metric scale, and you got a weight measurement in pounds and kilograms, and you did some conversions, and you measured your table and your book in uh, inches and in centimeters, and you did some conversions. And what did you find out about the conversion between um, length measurements? I hope you found out more than that. Okay? How are centimeters and inches related? We were doing a conversion factor. Let me write it like a conversion factor. How many what's in a what? Now I know you looked at this because some of you tried to take your mass metric quiz in English. Yep. Jen? Is it one inch is 2.54? Yes. One inch is 2.54. Centimeters. That is a conversion that lets us leap from the imperial system that we live in to the metric system that we're supposed to be living in, but we're too lazy to convert. Okay. All righty. Now, if I wanted to know how many centimeters are in a yard, how could I get there? 